Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lewis Shenanigans of 1977. It's Thursday night, and you know what that means. It's time for the TNA Wrestling Events Center. And now here's the man that always makes an impact here on YouTube, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode number... 1,285, and this is the final video for today, um, for uh, March the 21st, 2024, 10.33 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about a little bit about um, uh, TNA, um, TNA Impact Wrestling um, Event Center, but uh, uh, um, a little stark reminder... I want a, a, a little stark reminder: there will be no collision tomorrow. I mean, no no rampage tomorrow night, and no collision tomorrow night. So, um, <clears throat> so those are the two uh, main things that will be um, um, main event centers that will be um, not going to be. We talked about because I did rampage last night because it was connected with dynamite, and not only that, <clears throat> there's no collision because of the NCAA men's basketball team that will happen. Between tomorrow night and Saturday night, so those two are out. So that will fr that will free me up to do. Um, and for tomorrow, I got the Bullseye, you know, Bonus Island, and uh, the eightieth edition of that. I got the um, SmackDown NXT level up. So that, and also I got Card Sharks Money Cards on Saturdays as well. So that will free me up. Uh, that will, that will free me up to do you know possibly Saturday afternoon while I'm getting my laundry done and all that Poss possibly um, a possible um, uh, a possible Shenanigan Arcade in the future so that's something that um, that's something I'm, like I said I'm, 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 I did announce it on Rant and Rave and and just uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been a surreal surreal day for me. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. If you watch Pressure Luck, you saw what happened, and watch me play Pressure Luck, you saw what happened, and I'm like, yeah, this is my kind of day today. One day you're up, in a minute you're down. You know what I'm saying? But however, um, and uh, so that's how it is. So shall we get on with it and? Um, Shall we get on with it? Uh, Mustafa Ali was kicking off Impact and decided to join Tom Hennepin and Matthew Redwall on commentary. And this was a... Let's see. One, two, three, four. Um, an Impact... Um, an X Division six-pack challenge where the winner would face Mustafa Ali at Rebellion for the X Division title. And it's Leon Slater, the newcomer from England, versus Chris Bay, versus Alan Angels, versus Jason Hodge in the good hands. Versus Kevin Knight and versus Jake something, and uh, and Jake something ended up winning the matchup. Dirty Dango, Alpha Bravo, and Ole Prudius was getting interviewed, and and it looks like uh, Dirty Dango has been having more of a crappier attitude since he starts losing match after match after match after match and everything else. So, you know, he should have gone back to the WWE. He would have been a little bit different, no longer the Fandango dancing and all that good stuff. That could be Vince McMahon's idea. I was a stupid gimmick, but however. Um, uh, Gia Miller interviewed um, AJ Francis and Rich Swan, hopefully to get an explanation from them why Rich Swan turned, but then AJ Francis, you don't have to wait till next week while we do it in the ring. So, so, so there's that. Um, Diener addresses the impact crowd, saying that he's not been himself, and he blames himself for everything that's been happening, and that he, but he said, from now on, I'm going to listen to you guys. I want to see what you want. All right? Listen, so he wants to take the side of fans. Fans started cheering for him. And um, then the GYV, the Grizzly Young Veterans, interrupted Diener. And they were telling them basically to shove off. But they said, you want me to go? You want me to stay? I'm staying. And then he started pounding on him until the time splitters came to his aid. And uh, they had their matchup against uh, the GYV. It was a heck of a matchup. And... In the end, though, in the end, winning the matchup 
is the time splitters by submission. Meanwhile, Tom Hennepin interviewed Hammerstone and what Hammerstone's goal here is in, in the, in the uh, TNA Impact. And uh, basically, Hammerstone probably wants to be the TNA World Champion, but he's going to have to get by Moose from the system to do it. M uh, more on them. Digital media title was on the line. Crazy Steve versus PCO. And this was a heck of a matchup. But Big Con ended up getting involved in the matchup. and started throwing weapons in the ring. And then PCO went after him. And then while wow, Crazy Steve got the referee distracted. Um, here comes, you know, Big Con attacks him. Throws him back in the ring. And Crazy Steve ended up taking advantage of it. And retains the Digital Media Championship. DK addresses Spitfire, and Spitfire are the new Knockouts Tag Team Champions. They say they want to shot the titles, but then MK Ultra goes, you know what, we want to shot those belts too. Well, if, you face, if, if they're facing you, we'll wait the winner of the matchup. Then Eric Young addresses the Impact crowd. He says, well, uh, Moose, uh, our business is not done, but I have to deal with Frankie Kazarian first, and that's what I'm going to do. So, basically, Eric Young vows once he gets done with Frankie Kazarian... He'll go. He'll try to be the world champ again. George Iceman, the new manager of Ash by Elegance, introduces her, and Ash by Elegance went one on one with Silesia Sparks, and Ash by Elegance wins again. But then Ash by Elegance was attacking Sparks after the matchup until um, Zaya Brookside decides to stop Ash and says, "What are you doing?" And I'm sure Zaya Brooks, Zaya Brookside probably knew Ash from their days in the WWE. Rosiah Brookside was part, you know, was part of NXT UK, or, or, had they interacted in the WWE? Was part of NXT? I don't think so. I think Zaya Brookside did go back to, you know, she was part, I don't know if she was part of NXT before she got released, or was part of NXT UK, but, anyways, uh, Nick Nemeth decided to address his match against Moose at Rebellion, and then the system interrupts Nick Nemeth, and basically, Moose says this, you know, is one thing about Nick Nemeth's career that y'all should know by now, he hasn't been able to beat the system. And then all all four members of the system, uh, the world champ, the tag champs, and Alicia, all walked away. All walked away afterwards, so Nick Nemeth was standing in the middle of the ring. So, we shall see. Nick Nemeth is the NJPW Global Champion. Then the knockouts title was on the line. Jordan Grace went up against Tasha Steeles in the main event. And Jordan Grace ended up retaining her title. So who is next on Jordan Grace's hit list among the knockouts? I think they're running out of opponents. I think they're trying to set her up for, against Ash by Elegance. I think Ash by Elegance will be due to her for a title shot at any time possible. Now, Ring of Honor is also on Thursdays. And... And one of my favorite ladies from Stardom makes her debut on there. Miss Mina Shirakawa will, made her debut against Anna J. I'm probably going to watch that whole thing um, to see who would win that match. Maybe let's start doing some reports of Ring of Honor or something like that. Maybe that's that's a good idea of mine, you know what I mean? So I thought it was really cool. Um, let's see. Let's see, there's anything else that you should talk about before we end this video. I'm trying to make it a 10-minute video each time. Um, not necessarily. Um, like I said, a reminder, of course, Bullseye, the Bones Island, number 80, will be tomorrow. The first Bullseye Bones Island of the spring. Um, the uh, SmackDown NXT level up right afterwards. And then Card Sharks and Money Cards on Saturdays. And maybe a sh uh, Saturday Shenanigans and Garcade. I haven't had one of those in quite a while. And I don't know what game I want to play, other than from Switch or watch uh, Bust on my Xbox One. Who knows for sure. And we're going to have some, a little bit of fun, possibly. So, uh, that's something to think about for the next few days. Uh, next couple of days and see what I can come up with. But until then, I'm not going to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or Saturday and all that. I'm going to worry about it here and now. And I'm going to worry about is concluding this video so I can get to bed. I gotta wake up early tomorrow morning to get to work, and then go to work, punch in, work for four hours, leave at ten, get changed, do a little bit more shopping, come home, eat some lunch, get on here, do my, yep, you know what? Here I go again, <laughs> on my own. <laughs> Anyways, 
I'm very, very thankful, though, very, very blessed uh, to have good friends, good people on there. And thank you for watching. Once again, I am also one more thing I am proud to announce once again. I don't know if you guys know this. I am going to be the new host of uh, the new main host of the Dugout Crew podcast that will be on David's channel Thursdays at 3, starting possibly next Thursday because of the fact that the baseball season starts. And... Sox are opening it up against the Seattle Mariners uh, for the four-game series in Seattle. And then next week, while I'm on vacation, they'll be doing the home opener, which is going to be really, really cool. So, not next week. Um, the week that the Red Sox come on, 8th eight, eight to the 13th, when they do and when they open up at home in the home opener, I'll be on vacation that week. I'm really looking forward to it. And um, we, sh we shall see what happens there. All right? So, but until then... Until the next episode comes rolling around. Guys, have a good night, everyone. God bless. And Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big BVE, do it for Bob Saget Productions. And in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.